it. No gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, kind of been a while since I've done a video, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I don't even know how long ago it's been now, maybe a week or two, since I made the video uh, asking about Clover Creek and a vlog. I got a lot of people that said they'd like to see one, and I kind of want to make one. Um, it is currently Sunday, November 5th. Uh, I'm pretty sure this video is going to go up tonight. We'll see. Uh, or else it'll go up maybe tomorrow or something. We'll see. Um, sometime in the next couple of days. But uh, it's currently... Um, well, it's 10.30. I haven't set that clock back yet. Um, or it's just coming up on 10.30. I haven't set that clock back yet. Um, so I still need to do that. But uh, yeah, so... I figured I'd just give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been going on. Um, so, I purchased Gold Rush, the game. I've been playing it a little bit. Um, yeah, off and on here, kind of. Uh, maybe I'll do some video on that. We'll see. But, um, and last night I played Farm Sim for a little bit. Uh, that's the first time I've played it in, jeez, a couple weeks. Um, or more, I don't know. But, uh, did a little bit of playing on Clover Creek. Uh, I had to wait for the game to update uh, to the new patch, and then I had to download a fixed version of the animated objects or whatever, uh, so that way my doors would work. And It's always fun dealing with new updates. Um, not really, but... Yeah, um, yesterday I put new tie rods on my pickup as well. Uh, I just went to work, and uh, Saturdays there's only two guys working, so I went and I stole one of the lifts for a couple hours, and uh, thankfully they've done tie rods before, so they were able to help me. Uh, that and about the time I went in, it was pretty slow, so they were able to you know, sit and help me out for a little bit, uh, which helped. Uh, it took like a half hour for us to get one of the tie rods off of the pickup because it... Um, it was just on there so tight, but um, or to get a, to get it pounded off, uh, all the bolts and everything came off super easy. Uh, I was kind of worried that I was gonna have to like torch them, because, you know, that they weren't gonna want to come off, but they did. And then uh, since I took my front tires off, anyways, I just rotated my tires right away. Um, so got all that done, and uh, this past Monday I made an appointment for. Uh, tomorrow to get an alignment uh, and at that time I had to be at work at 730 but now I don't have to be there till 8 so I might just kind of sit and watch them align it um, we'll see or else I'll just go over and punch in early and help out uh, the guy that comes in before me in the mornings <coughs> um, but yeah so get that aligned tomorrow and uh, have that all done and it'll be all set um, the next thing, next project will probably be breaks, but we'll see. Uh, I did also order some stuff this morning on Amazon, which I will show you that here in a little bit. Uh, some stuff that's going to be really fun. Uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so today I'm not really, uh, I haven't really done much. Uh, I'm still wearing pajama pants. Uh, I've just kind of been lounging around, but... Mostly because I'm just kind of waiting for noon to roll around when stores start opening. Uh, I want to go to Harbor Freight today and buy some more tools. Uh, I just got paid here this past Friday, so I finally have money. I can go buy more tools. Um, and actually, I got an email here uh, with this uh, toolbox. I was actually looking at going and buying a cart toolbox. Uh, it's like a little... 26 inch with four drawers on it. Um, I was gonna look into buying that, you know, because it'd be kind of nice. Right now, I just have like a little, you know, it's a little cart that just it has a top shelf and a bottom shelf, really. And then I have a John Deere toolbox. It's a little three drawer with an opening lid. Um, it doesn't hold all my tools at all, uh, not even close. And I also have a little tool bag. Um, so, 
I'm using those two things and on that cart and I wanted to buy one that, you know, it's a cart with the toolbox built onto the top. Uh, I had like the opening lid and then four drawers and then it had just a bottom shelf. I was going to look at getting that and it was on sale for $100, which I don't know if it is anymore. But, um, uh, let me, three, okay, so this is the last day to use this coupon for this toolbox that I just showed you guys. Uh, it is a 52 inch tall, eight drawer roller cabinet. So it's got the opening lid up top and then it's got eight drawers on it and it has a little bottom shelf on it uh, for $155. So for only $55 more, I can get twice the space really. Um, I mean, in the future I'd upgrade to this thing anyway, so I might as well just do it right away. Um, so yeah, today's actually the last day for that coupon, uh, which is okay because I want to go there today anyways. Hopefully they have it in stock. Um, and hopefully I can get it right away and then I can take it to work tomorrow. Um, maybe that's what I'll do tomorrow when I get to work is just set that up. Uh, or else I'll watch my alignment. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I want to go get that and I have a couple other odds and ends tools that I want to look at getting. Um, but yeah, so that, that would be so much nicer. I'd have much more space. All of my tools would fit in it. Um, plus, uh, my grandpa had bought me some wrenches and they're like super big and like they're longer than my toolbox is wide right now so um, they don't fit I have them in the toolbox of my truck right now so yeah I I don't have any place to put them but I did use the one yesterday uh, it was a huge help for putting those tie rods on you know being extra long and all that so um, yeah so here are the items that uh, I ordered uh, yesterday, or not yesterday, I ordered them just this morning. Um, they'll be here sometime this week. Uh, so the first thing we have is this 4x4 decal. If this would focus, kind of focus, but so we've got that, and then um, I got a couple other items that I ordered. Um, So here is the second item. Uh, it's kind of like smoked out, smoky um, headlights and tail lights. And then I bought matching a uh, a matching third brake light, which is pretty cool. This is kind of what it looks like at night. So it'll be pretty cool. I'll do a video when I install them probably. We'll see. Uh, or else I might do them at work one day. We'll see because it is really cold out right now. Uh, we just got snow on Friday actually. Uh, it started snowing. Uh, it was I think Thursday night. Uh, it kind of rained a little bit or something. Or no. No it didn't. But um, then Friday. I'm pretty sure it was Friday. I don't even remember now. There's so much that's happened the last week. I don't even remember anymore. But anyway, Thursday or Friday, I'm pretty sure it was Friday, though. Um, I got up, went out to start my truck, and it was kind of like, kind of raining, it seemed like, because uh, the ground was wet, and, you know, it kind of seemed like rain. Well, it was a freezing rain, and it just got colder throughout the day, and it turned into snow. Um, and by the time... I went home for lunch, there was already a good, oh, there had to have been an inch or so on the ground already, an inch or two, um, and actually that day we worked on the plow truck for at work. Um, we got the oil changed in that and checked all the fluids so they could have that ready, um, and we did that just in time, evidently, uh, or that was actually Thursday we worked on that, uh, because we knew Friday there was a chance of snow, and, uh, I had my pickup in two-wheel drive coming home for lunch and was all over the place. And then when I got home, I locked my hubs in and put it in four-wheel drive going back. And uh, I didn't slide once, thankfully. But uh, it is, you know, there's still gra uh, still snow in the grass. But wherever, you know, like all the roads, they're pretty, pretty much clear um, for the most part. Uh, they are... 
you know, there's still a little bit of stuff on them, a little bit of snow and ice yet, but they are, for the most part, pretty clear. Um, but uh, it's definitely starting to feel like winter time now. Um, and I know yesterday I went to start my pickup and my windows were solid ice and I was scraping my windows and I happened to look at the top of my cab because uh, I had to scrape my back window too and it was a layer of ice over the top of the cab and I pushed it with the ice scraper and it just came off in one big sheet and just flowed right off it was insane and so I mean I was working underneath of I was working with water dripping on me which we have the past couple of days at work um, with all the snow we pull a vehicle in and it's just dripping water on us but oh well but uh, yeah so glad to have those new tie rods on my old ones were just shot uh, all the boots had holes in them uh, when I did my oil change at work here a couple weeks ago uh, I greased them and the second pump with the grease gun and it was just flowing out through the cracks so I knew I needed to get new ones um, I thought I could just get by with replacing the boots but I figured you know what I might as well just replace the whole dang thing uh, for all four of them I think I paid a hundred bucks so uh, it wasn't too bad really uh, so I got those on yesterday which was quite the quite the project like I said but it's over I'm glad to have that done the next thing I need to do is brakes at some point um, but we'll see um, so yeah uh, gonna kinda screw around for the next hour and a half until noon when things start opening up around here and then um, yeah so uh, we'll just kind of see where the day goes. So, we'll see you guys in a sec. Alrighty guys, uh, it is one, uh, not one o'clock, it is noon. Um, I have to set the clock back in this thing as well. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get going. Uh, I'm gonna head to Harbor Freight first. Um, by the time I get there, they'll be all opened up hopefully. And uh, today is actually the last day that that toolbox is on sale, so hopefully they have those things in stock. And I also want to look at a couple other tools. And uh, I might stop at Boot Barn. I want to look at a new pair of boots um, for like working in. Um, and then we'll kind of see where else the day goes. Um, I would show you guys the new tie rods underneath, but it is cold out and I don't want to sit there. Uh, and show underneath um, maybe when I edit this video I'll take the picture from um, my phone and put it on my computer and throw it into this video that or maybe I'll take one a picture with this and put it in there or something we'll see or maybe I'll just buck it up later and show you guys um, I do have a lot of stickers too I don't know if I've showed all of them to you guys before but I'll show them all anyways um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and prop this up and I'm going to start driving. Um, I'm not going to talk while I drive because one, I'm going to time lapse it so it doesn't take forever, you know, so it doesn't make this video super long doing that. And then also because I want to listen to the radio and I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'm going to go ahead, prop this up, and we will start going.
Alright guys, so sorry I didn't get any more footage. Um, I forgot my GoPro was in the glove box and I forgot to grab it out. I didn't realize it until I was already driving and I didn't want to try reaching over and grabbing it while I was driving. So, um, I got a lot of stuff at Harbor Freight. A lot of stuff I wanted, a, lot, a couple things I needed, a couple things which will definitely come in handy. So, starting off, the big box is the toolbox. I'm gonna try and put it together. We'll see. I'm not sure if I wanna do it right now or not. Um, I may, and then when I get to work tomorrow, see if the other guy that works, uh, that gets to work before me, see if he wants to uh, help me unload it. But anyway, so starting off, got a 20 volt drill. Uh, I have a, um, impact that's the same brand uh same battery and everything it's just the impact version so i got the uh regular normal drill uh we got the drawer liner for the toolbox um four pound or three pound i guess uh, kind of not rubber hammer but uh it's a, it says dead blow hammer uh definitely a useful thing uh, i got this pair of gloves um because sometimes when an engine comes in that's very hot taking that oil filter off um gets to be a pain i do wear rubber gloves uh all the time so i don't get completely covered in oil but uh when i need to wear gloves underneath the rubber gloves these will be nice for that because they're not as thick as my other work gloves uh just warranty information um, here we've got a 12-piece punch and chisel set. Um, it's got three drift punches, three cold chisels, one cape chisel, one diamond point chisel, two pin punches, one center punch, and one um, prick punch. So we've got that. And then um, got a seven-piece seven and a half inch flexible shaft bit driver set this is definitely going to be very handy for some um, air filters because there's sometimes where the hose from the radiator and a couple of other lines are right above a bolt that you have to take out or a screw that you have to take out to get the cap off of the air filter to check it uh, because that's something that we do with every vehicle is check the air filter um, got some drill bits um, when we throw away tires we have to make holes in them so that's gonna be nice for that among other things both at work and at home um, I got another uh, 36 piece um, set of different bits uh, these are not meant for impact wrenches but they work great for them so meaning that they're not made for it they kind of start to wreck especially these torque bits um, so I figured I'm going to buy another one and then I will keep this one set aside. And then once my bit is, you know, beyond use, um, then I will take that one, throw it away and use one out of this and switch it over. Um, cordless LED flashlight runs off the same battery as the drill and the impact. So I have three batteries, um, might get it. A fourth battery in the future but I'm really not going to use uh, that a whole lot so I will have three batteries that I can use plus I do have my charger so um, that's going to definitely be handy for underneath the vehicles um, 3 8 inch drive long handle flex head ratchet definitely going to be handy uh, for some filters that require using a ratchet to get them off um, seven piece quick release bit holder set um, I mean I'm just adding bits I don't didn't really need the bits themselves but I will take them anyways and then a six inch uh, hex bit extension it's an extension for the uh, impact is all it is and then the final couple of items I'm gonna set you guys down for one second here while I get these out And the last two items is a three-piece um, 
well, jaw locking um, pliers set. Uh, those are going to be very handy, as well as these uh, adjustable wrenches. So there is a 6 inch, a 12 inch, a 10 inch, and an 8 inch. Uh, and then there's a 5, 7, and 10 inch of that. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to see if I can get that unloaded. I'm going to move all this stuff. Uh, I'm going to go grab a different jacket as well as a pair of gloves. Because it is cold out here. You can see the snow still in the grass. But um, And then I'm going to move all this stuff out of my way and get that down and see about putting it together or you know at least the two different because it's got a top part and a bottom part uh, put them together but leave them separate until I get to work tomorrow um, that'll make them a little bit easier to unload and I won't put the tools in it right away but all right I will be back in a minute all right guys I finally got this thing unloaded um, this thing is heavy a lot heavier than uh, I expected but, well, actually, it's not as heavy as I expected. Um, but, yeah, so it is a two-piece set. Um, the bottom, it says, is in, or the top, it says, is inside of the bottom there. So, well, that worked. Um, yeah, so, uh, this is the owner's manual. You can kind of see it there. But, um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put this thing together. Um, what I'm going to do is have my stepdad help me load it tonight. Um, I might be going someplace tonight, so I don't want to just load it up right now. Um, but I will load it up later tonight. Um, so I'm going to check out this book here and see, uh, what kind of tools and whatnot I'm going to need here, and uh, um, yeah, so I will uh, be back. Oh, another thing too, I did stop. I made one other stop at Boot Barn, um, and I bought another pair of boots. They're up in my room, so when I go back upstairs, I will show you guys those. I got a new pair of work boots. Um, and I noticed this too. There's a panel here that comes off. It's got a couple of Phillips screw screws in it Screwdrivers. Yeah, a couple of Phillips screws in it, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and check out this book and uh, The guy at Harbor Freight did tell me that this thing is a pain in the butt to put together up top because of how tight of a fit it is so um, Yeah so, I will be back when I get this thing together. Alrighty guys, um, I got the toolbox all set up and ready to go. Um, so it came with four keys, there's two sets of keys. Um, and they both have two keys on them. So here it is, 52 inches tall. And I think it was like 26 inches wide or something like that. I don't remember. Anyway, so we got the top part. Um, they are separate. I can lift it up. Um, so we unlock the top. We unlock the bottom. The keys over there. Okay, so we got the top that opens up. Um, I do need to look. This thing seems like it doesn't sit quite right for whatever reason. But uh, in here we got the drill and then the gloves. Uh, my impact is going to go in here. Um, probably a set of sockets is going to go in here, uh, one of the organizers. And we'll see what else goes in there. Um, all of my miscellaneous bits are in here right now. Uh, I don't believe I have anything in this. Nope, there's nothing in that drawer. Or that one. Or that one. I don't think there's... Okay, and then in this drawer... Uh, here's one of my batteries, uh, the light, which, let's actually use this light once, let's see how well it works. Okay, and now we'll fold it up, wow, that's bright, um, and it's got a dial on it. I don't really know what the 
difference is, but yeah, so works pretty good. Uh, it even has a hook on it, and that was really bright when I looked at it there. But um, yeah, very nice. That's definitely gonna come in handy. Okay, let me set you guys down. There we go. Okay. And then we got the bottom. So the bottom, pull this little bar out. And just probably lay it across the top of the thing. So then in here we've got all of the uh, adjustable wrenches here. We got the vice grips and then we got the punch slash chisel set. I don't believe I have anything in this drawer yet. No. Uh, oh yeah, the hammer is in this drawer. Uh, I just realized now too that I forgot to buy a normal hammer. Oh well. And then if we go down here to this bottom part, this just folds up or lifts up and goes in. I got one charger under there, the one that came with the drill. Uh, my other charger will go under there. As well as probably like my mechanics tool bag thing. Um, put my jackets under here during the day. Uh, I have one jacket that I keep at work um, for running in and out of the shop. So, um, yeah, definitely lots of storage space in here. I might also look into getting like um, a little hanger that sticks to the side or something like that. Something for um, like hang a hat on or hang a coat on or whatever. Um, or maybe look into a couple of them. But we'll see so yeah that is the uh my toolbox and uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and go back inside and when i get up to my room i'll show you guys what i got when i stopped at boot barn and uh yeah so be right back okay so uh here is what i got at the stop at boot barn a uh, new pair of Ariat boots. Um, these ones I'm going to use for every day, and the ones that I currently use for every day, I'm going to be keeping at work. Um, have a certain pair of boots for work, um, for sure. Yeah, these are Ariats. Um, it's the first pair of round tip boots that I bought in a long, long time. Uh, normally, I wear the square tips, so yeah. Um, break those in and whatnot and then uh, here's the shirt that I wear at work um, just a shirt it says certified service there and says it across the back and then has a little thing right there too uh, eventually I'll get a uniform you know it'll be a shirt that'll have like my name on it and then um, a pair of pants too and then uh, over here, I got the daily essentials. Um, I got the stickers. Uh, we write the mileage that we changed the vehicle at and the date that we changed it on. And then we got the tread gauge. This measures how much uh, tread is left on a vehicle tire. And then flashlight for inspecting underneath and other things, um, tire gauge, pen for filling out the paperwork, and then Sharpie for writing on the stickers. Um, so yeah, but that is about it for this video. I'm just gonna kinda sit around now, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this, and uh, uh, it should be up, you'll probably be seeing this Monday morning, uh, this is probably when this will go up uh, or something like that or maybe Monday over lunch we'll see uh, but that is about it so wasn't uh, the most interesting thing but it was something so um, yeah that is going to do it for today if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And make sure you check out down below in the description. I got all kinds of stuff down there. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.